Hello people from Gunner Station, John here. Today's topic of the video is Deo Upamecano, of course a player who we are linked with for around, what, two years, two years and a half. Even when Wenger was here actually at Arsenal, he wanted to buy Deo Upamecano. He said that he missed Upamecano for a million pounds. A million pound. Honestly, if, you, if he signed for Arsenal, I think a lot of people are saying that, oh, wow, Wenger, not a mistake, not a mistake. I don't really see it like that. I see it as... For example, if he buys Upamecano, he would not have the same development as he was having at Leipzig. So things could have gone totally the opposite way. So I don't think it's that fair to judge Wenger on that. I think, uh, of course, he was very young at the time. What was Upamecano? Like 18 years old. Right now he's 21, playing for Leipzig, impressing a lot this season. Now that the Bundesliga has came back, he's not doing that great. It looks like it might be something uh, related to his fitness level, I don't know, but before that he was doing absolutely fantastic. He got a red card in the last game against Paderborn. Uh, on the air, he's a very good player. On the ball, he's actually a very good player as well. Really, really good on the ball. He's very quick as well. I think he's a defender who is going to make an impact on this team. I think if he comes here, of course, he's going to be our best center back by far. I think it would be interesting to put him close to William Saliba, although I think that we need a more experienced guy. In my opinion, club, uh, playing as a center back. Uh, maybe David Luiz, if he doesn't leave, I don't know what's going to happen to David Luiz. I don't know if he's going to renew his contract. His contract goes until uh, June the 30th. I don't know what's going to happen to him. If we're going to pay Kia uh, more, I don't know if he's going to reduce his salary. I don't know what's going to happen at all. But uh, people, depending on how much we will pay for Upamecano, there's a lot of links. Upamecano is of course linked with Arsenal, Upamecano is linked with Barcelona, Manchester City, Bayern Munich, Real Madrid, so many clubs, it's unreal. So I don't know what's going to happen, his country goes until 2021. Of course, he's having a great, great season. His game against Tottenham is a game that called a lot of attention for many, many teams. He had a fantastic game and then I think he got an injury after that but it was a small injury from Tanganga when he pushed him that was a really crazy uh, tackle over there I don't remember quite how it was but it, I, I remember us uh, uh, that I saw me kind of falling it was like whoa whoa that was bad but at the end it was not that bad uh, but when I see people, I see that, of course, a lot of teams are interested in Upamecano and it looks like uh, Milan asked for Leipzig around how much it would cost and they were told that Leipzig had already agreed a deal with Arsenal. Well, we don't know if that's true, so I would not go hard on this. I would not hype that up so much. I think that we gotta go calm with this. It's very weird. We might do like a Chelsea thing. Of course, Chelsea, they usually tend to come at players and they don't leak it out. Uh, for example, Hakim Zayic, of course, Timo Werner, we didn't even know they were linked with them and they just come and boom, get their player. Of course, Timo Werner is not 100% a Chelsea player, but he's around 98%, let's say. So we might have done something like Leipzig. Uh, we don't have money so far, but uh, we are here. We are going to sell some players. Let's agree on a fee. After we sell the players that we need, for example, the center backs, the Socrates, the Mustafis, uh, we're gonna get your player. And Leipzig might have agreed with it. I don't know. So yes, people, I think that might have happened. Of course, a lot of teams, as I said many times, link with Upamecano, but I don't see Real Madrid getting Upamecano, honestly. I think that he would not be a first choice for them. They have Rafael Varane, they have Eder Militao, I don't think he's going on alone. Of course, they, had Sergio, they have Sergio Ramos, who's not going anywhere, he's going to stay there, he's still a very good center back. When it comes to PSG, they don't need a center back as well. Of course, Thiago Silva's leaving, they actually need a center back, but I don't think Upamecano would go to PSG. Bayern Munich, I think Boateng is actually doing decent now he came back to a good level of course Alaba is absolutely great in my opinion wherever he's pl he plays on the midfield as a left back as a center back I don't think he's going to move to center back at all his contract expires in 2021 as well so we gotta maybe look at it I think it would be a very very interesting player I think in the midfield he would do decent for us I think as a deep line playmaker close or a box-to-box -box midfielder close to a guy like Thomas Partey would be decent I'm a guy who likes Shaka but Alaba is absolutely fantastic for me he's playing as a center back he's doing pretty well there he usually plays with Boateng sometimes with Hernandez who's coming back from injury so they have Hernandez they have Nicolas Sule they have uh, they have Pavard who can play there but he's usually playing as a right back now and they have also I think his name is Mia from the Academy something like, like that uh, so yes they have a lot of choices and they're decent players but when it comes to us 
I think we really need a center back when it comes to Manchester United. I don't think they would need Upamecano that much. Manchester City, I think, yeah, but I don't know what's going to happen to City this window. I don't know if they're going to spend a lot. I don't know if they are not. When it comes to Liverpool, I don't think they're going to buy a center back as well. I think, I don't know what they're going to do, honestly, because after Timo Werner, I cannot predict what Liverpool is going to do. Uh, I think they're going to keep Joe Gomez. Barcelona is also linked with Upamecano, but honestly, in my opinion, I don't think he's their main priority. And when I see the teams that actually could go for Upamecano, I think that if Upamecano wants to play week in, week out, because of course Bayern well, was really linked with him as well, but I don't think if he went there, he would be a 100% starter. They have some decent center backs, and Hernandez came back right now. But I think that honestly, the teams that he would actually start every week would be us and Tottenham. In my opinion and i don't think tottenham is really going to buy him tottenham does, does not spend that much we do spend a lot of people say we don't but we do we just spend money in the wrong way but that's how it works people let me know what you guys think in the comments below about Adeo opamecano if you would take him if you would not take him people thank you so much thank you for watching